All right, let's do uh, let's do some watch this bitches because it looks long. Okay. We started watching a new show that I can what? recommend to you guys, but you're not going to watch it. Okay, it you're really exciting. not going to watch it. You're really selling it. What Once is, I give you one detail, you're not going to watch. Okay. Okay. What's the one detail? No, I'm going to wait that. Keep that for the end. Okay. So it's a cool. it's a zombie series, but eh. you know, really well done. It takes place in Korean like uh, imperial times. So it's like a period piece zombie. Ask me anything about Korean imperial times. Well, nothing. You don't need to know anything. It's just, like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know if that's the right term. I just made that up, probably. It's, you know what I mean? They wear like the weird outfits and it's like, why, you can imagine. Why do, why do their outfits have to be weird? Why I are mean, you saying all Korean people old. wear weird outfits? <laughs> Stop it. You understand? You can picture what I'm talking about, right? Like sure. a Korean period piece, but with zombies. But it's done like really super high production value. So it's about Korean zombies that are having their time of the month. No. Okay. So, but it's in Korean. It's in their subtitles. That's where I think I was going to lose. Oh, yeah. No. You lost me at zombies, first of all. Oh, but it's really well done. It's not straight up. <laughs> I mean, like, that's where you really lost me. But like, it's different. I don't care it's different about than. Shows. I feel like it's different than those other zombie shows. We've only watched like three or four episodes, but it's. It's a basically a combination of those uh, like Asian kingdom stories. I mean, the name of the game, the name of the TV show is Kingdom, uh, and you know, a zombie show. But it's, it's really good. I usually I'm pretty like not into zombies anymore, but I like this show. So I know you weren't going to watch it, no. but somebody out there is going to watch it, and they're going to thank me on Twitter. Uh, I also wanted to say we're still watching The Magicians and. You probably haven't started watching it, but it's getting really good. That's okay. I'm saying. People that were asking me on Twitter if I'm still watching it. And uh, yes, and we watched one of the ep- one of the early episodes of the second season. It's just so weird and funny and well-written. It's, you know, it really stands out. Did you watch The Umbrella Academy? Yes. It's when my daughter ran out of things to watch, and she's like, "What can I watch?" And I said, "You might like the Umbrella Academy. It's rated TV fourteen, by the way." And she's she's like, "I guess." And she watched it twice in the last week. What the fuck? She's watched. She burned through it twice. It's in like the last week. sixteen hours. I don't. Yeah. I don't feel like TVs work the same time frame at Wombat's house. Right. Do. Well, nobody's she's already no. watched through it twice. She doesn't go to sleep. No, she does. She's doesn't. watching TV instead of sleeping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It sounds bad. It is bad. We're, you know, what am but I going to do? You know what? She's going to be really good at trivia. At Umbrella Academy trivia. Well, <laughs> yeah. I watched a lot of TV when I was growing up because I was a latchkey kid. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm really good at like 80s TV trivia. Mm-hmm. How is trivia even going to work in the future, though? How do you mean? It seems like everything's just split off. So much more than it was. I mean, like, you watch all categories. the 80s TV, but like, yeah, we all watch all the same 80s TV. Right. Now people are watching things like Kingdom and The Magicians. Right. And YouTube streamers. Right. Uh, and that. That we mm. all can enjoy. Tri- trivia screwed in the future. Well, you can have specialized trivia. I did yeah. trivia. I did uh, Discord uh, the CAG Discord channel. We had a You Don't Know Jack Knight set up by, uh, who is it? DC19, I believe, set that up. Uh, DC16, sorry, used the wrong number. Uh, yeah, I know. Close. Dodge that bullet. And it was a whole lot of fun. And we played the murder mystery trivia, the murder trivia castle, whatever that game is. That game is, re- that's really hard trivia, but that was oh. a lot of fun. And it was fun to play with a bunch of uh, other cheap ass gamers. And having a good time. That sounds like a good time. Yeah, you missed out. Well, I have to make dinner and stuff. You missed out. I can't can't play games at 7 o'clock at night. <sighs> Says you. I can't. I just can't. I have a lot of responsibilities here. People sure. expect the food on the table. And that's the time that it happens. Learn to I mean, multitask. Pretty, I cannot play video games and make dinner at the same time. It's not playing video games. You're on your phone. It's It's easy. <laughs> I would cut off my finger. You'd be fine. No. Anyway, what else? Who was watching? Who's watching the Miracle Workers Dark Ages? Uh, I finished off that second se- or the I guess the only season of that the second season of Miracle Workers. Yes, yeah, the sec- only season of Dark Ages. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I like it. It was good. Mm-hmm. Um, did you finish off that season? Yeah, I sure did. You've probably watched it three times by now. No, just the one time. Once okay. was enough. <laughs> no, it, it's it's good. It's a, it's a fun show that, like, every episode, like, they all link together, but they're all just kind of, like, go into left field on some of the episodes. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. I like it's the... Uh, I'm, I like, I'm hoping... I like I'm hoping the, music. the next season is also Dark Ages, I guess. It's possible. But what would they do? I feel like they kind of wrap it up. They do, but I don't know. They, it, that show's goofy enough that they could find a way to unwrap it. I guess. But everyone on that show is so good. They are. I, yep. It's crazy that... Uh, Steve Buscemi and what Nathaniel Radcliffe are in yeah. that. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, yep. Just kind of being there, but like, mm-hmm. but like putting in the effort to do put on a good show when yeah. neither one of them probably really needs to be there. Yeah. I, how much of Steve Buscemi do you think he just does Steve Buscemi on, and how much of that is like specifically written? Uh, I'm sure it's all written. I think that's why he's so good. Is that you think it's not? Because I doubt Simon Rich really allows is a big fan of people going off script. That's mm. my guess. Mm. Sounds like an educated guess to me. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm on board. You've not watched yeah. any of this, have you, Chibi? No, but I just googled it to see what you were talking about. Okay. It's really good. You should watch it. Is it is good. I saw it. It might be on Hulu. Uh, okay. It's definitely yeah, on Hulu. That makes yeah, about, that makes sense. It. Yeah. Oh wait, oh. no, we watch it on the TBS app, right? Which you also can use, Cheapy. Maybe you not. Have cable. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. You definitely you have cable, so all you have to do is download the TBS app and maybe and link it to I cable. do. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's I now recommended box, by. by Every time I look at my cable box in my boiler room, I think about how much it annoys Wombat that it's sitting in my cable. It does like, annoy me to no end. I know. I look at it and I just smile. I go, you're just It's still off. like, even if you don't hook it up, though, it's still worth having because you can use all the other apps. Yes. Yeah, so you can use all those, like the, you apps. know. Yeah. I, I do that. I got apps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Cartoon yes. Network app is quite useful sometimes. Right. Mm-hmm. I also watched uh, with with my kids, with my whole family, we we watched the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie this week. How does nice. that hold up? Nineteen ninety version. Mm-hmm. That I I mean I still really enjoy it. My kids enjoyed it. I remember seeing that in the theaters. Sure, mm-hmm. I don't. I was like too. I was a little too old. You didn't I think. remember seeing it? No, I don't. I don't think I ever saw it from start to finish. What? I I sort of aged out of that. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah. It was a little it's your loss. I know. Well, I can still watch it. It it holds up pretty well. It's it, Is that with Toka and Razor or is that the second one? No, that's the second one. Oh, that okay. one we're getting ready to watch that one soon. That one's and better. I, yeah, two and three are better. Uh because when this came out, this came out the what is it, the year after Batman? Was eighty mm-hmm. nine Batman? Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this came out the year after Batman, and there's a lot of like Batman influence in it mm-hmm. like it's kind of like it it tries to be a little dark and edgy which i know the turtles were originally that but at this point it, was it like, doesn't work read the comics if you want dark and edgy turtles. yeah like this is like this is for the kids who were watching the tv show mm-hmm. right like mm-hmm. we didn't need the dark edginess so you don't need Raphael like yelling out damn like five times in the movie <laughs> um <laughs> I especially didn't need that because my kids are really into turtles and they damn. like Raphael and him just yelling out "damn" over and over again. It's like, oh come on, like who, who wrote this? Right. Um, but no, we we enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to two and three though because that those are a little bit hammier. Mm-hmm. Those are more kid friendly. I think three is the probably the cheesiest one. But, but you uh... you don't like. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Feudal Japan. I mean, I think everyone does. If you add in zombies, then you have a TV series Cheapy would watch. Right. Exactly. <laughs> have you not seen any of these movies, Cheapy? I don't think so. Uh, wow. And I watch the cartoon like religiously. It's pretty much, I've probably seen all of them. You know, the original cartoon. Yeah. But Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. 
Yeah, we we uh, celebrate their entire catalog currently. <laughs> turtle power. Every, turtle. every kind of turtle show. We're all, we're all about it right now. Oh, all right. But also, has everybody seen the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Uh, I, yes. I know you two have. You have not seen it yet. Wombat. I have not seen it yet. You haven't. Well, we have a contest, Wombat. Maybe you can win. I'll enter. Okay. I don't think I'm eligible, but I'll enter <laughs> the I you're gonna enter our no official what. Sonic the Hedgehog movie contest. It yes. is yeah, United States only. Yep. It, there this is a contest only for those who live in the United States. So we are giving away five copies of Sonic the Hedgehog on Blu-ray. Uh, and really the only thing we have to say is this is in support of the release of the film that's available now on digital and arriving to 4K, Blu-ray, and DVD on May 19th. How are we giving them away? Um, I thought we could come up with that right now. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Oh. What, I, I was thinking maybe people could post on the show thread what they'd want to see in the sequel. Sure. What would you like to see in Sonic the Hedgehog Part 2, The Hedgehogging, and post it in the show thread that will be tweeted out by all three of us once this show goes live? By the way, your odds are going to be pretty good at winning one of these because looking at the kind of comments we get in a show thread. I, exactly. Although maybe this will uh, be I mean, really, around. how much could it really impact? I don't think. I think your odds are pretty good. So do that. All right. That's great. Cool. Well, I bet yes. you're not eligible. Damn it. Sorry. You're going to have to rent it. <laughs> In the <laughs> words of my favorite Ninja Turtle, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, man. I say the Also, yeah. what? going back to the Turtles movie real quick. Uh-huh. So Corey Feldman plays Donatello in that movie. Yes. But Donatello is also the only turtle in that movie who has zero personality. You like, just they, said Corey Feldman plays him. <laughs> Right, like there's nothing in that. Like my kids like Donatello, Donatello, and uh, there's like nothing in there that's like, oh yeah, he's the like smart one that makes gadgets. Like nothing, he just has zero personality in that movie. Oh, hmm. He has the stick though, right? <laughs> he does have the stick. <laughs> Good. Yeah. They nailed him then, as far as I'm right. concerned. And Donatello's got the stick. Isn't that how it goes? Mm-hmm. That's, a, That's what they say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, anybody watching The Last Dance? I know that came out this week. I don't, I don't even know what that is. That's the the Chicago Bulls story. Nineties Bulls. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see that. I'm surprised Shipwreck isn't. I no, I I have it queued up, but I have not watched it yet. Okay, me neither. I'm trying to see how I'm going to convince Mrs. GB to watch it. It's going to be tough. I, I'm is, looking forward to it. It's probably not as good as the zombie Korea show. But it could be. Mm. It sounds pretty wild. Uh, it's right. amazing that it took them, like, they had all this and it took them this long to put this out. No. Things take time. It took a pandemic for this to come out. <laughs> they were biding their time. <laughs> I like, like, uh, when I turn on my Xbox, it, like, turns on. I still have it, like, my cable hooked up to it. So it turns on to ESPN automatically every time I turn on my Xbox. Yeah. And so... I just see like the crawl at the bottom and since there's no like sports going on, all the crawl is just like people's reactions to the last dance, (laughs) like just random like comments from people where the, all the scores used to be. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. I'm going to watch that. I'll try. 